Hey guys, it's Metacosis Perfectionalis one more time, continuing our series of lectures about fluids, electrolytes, and acid-based disturbance. In the previous two videos, we have talked about carbonic anhydrase inhibitors, as well as acute mountain sickness, where we use acetazolamide. Today, we have a great mnemonic about the carbonic anhydrase inhibitors. With that being said, now let's get started. You just write the word acetazolamide and the T is the mountain. So, acetazolamide, AC, because it causes acidosis. What type of acidosis? The normal anion gap metabolic acidosis, also known as hyperchloremic metabolic acidosis. Next, we have the C here for CHF. Why? Because in CHF, you're full of water. That's why you need a diuretic. You can also add C for pseudo tumor cerebri, which is an idiopathic intracranial hypertension. Next, we have the T for the mountaintop altitude sickness, especially the acute mountain sickness, because for the chronic mountain sickness, you'll need some oxygen, baby. Then you have A. Because acetazolamide alkalinizes the urine. Alkalinization is AZ. O, because it causes hypotension. Why? Because it's a diuretic. M, because it's used in Meniere's disease to decrease the pressure in your labyrinth, aka the inner ear. E, because it's used for eye drops for glaucoma to decrease the intraocular pressure, IOP. So acetazolamide can decrease the, the ABP, the ICP, and the IOP. If you know these three, by definition, you are not an SOB. Acetazolamide decreases your systemic arterial blood pressure, lowers your intracranial pressure, and decreases your intraocular pressure. I'm a poor Egyptian guy living in the United States, writing poetry about carbonic anhydrase inhibitors. Life is weird. I climbed a mountain the other day. I thought it would be so much fun, yay. Then all of the sudden, PaO2 was low. PaO2 was also down, oh no. My brain wanted oxygen. I'll hyperventilate to cure the hypoxia before it's too late. Oxygen is in, CO2 is out. Respiratory alkalosis, there is no doubt. For a carbonic anhydrase inhibitor, I am in need to cancel the alkalosis to even the playing field. Hypoxic vasoconstriction, my grave is being dug. Edema in the brain, edema around my lung. Epo, my hero, came to rescue me. I owe my entire life to thee. Marrow is on fire producing RBCs. I need more of secondary erythrocytosis, please. Cytosolamide is capable of metabolic acidosis. An ion gap is normal. Gracias, medicosis. Be safe, stay happy, enjoy the moment, and let me know what you think in a comment. Please go to Patreon, support my work. I'll be eternally grateful, gonna give you some perk. I'm a visual learner, so I enjoy Picmonic. They have mnemonics in pictures, and the link will be in the description. By the way, they have a great medical mnemonic about acetazolamide, which is today's topic. So after watching my videos and going to Picmonic in three minutes, you will like retain this kind of information in your brain forever. The chances of you forgetting about acetazolamide in the future will drop to zero or 0 0.5 to be scientifically accurate. Thank you so much guys for watching. Please subscribe and join the tribe. Hit the bell to get notified. Follow me on Facebook to get my notes and my cases. Go to patreon.com forward slash medicosis. Thank you so much for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy, enjoy the moment.